What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. This video is very exciting to me because I see this question all the time in the comments. Now that I have a car with a power glide, you guys are always asking which is a better transmission, a TH400 or a power glide. You also get other comments like, is a power glide less treatable than a 400? Is a power glide slower than a 400? Is a 400 slower than a power glide? All these questions will be answered in today's video. So let's hop right in. Sitting next to me right now, I got my brand new, to me, uh, Power Glide. This is a Reed case. So it's aftermarket case Power Glide with a stock gear set. So it's a 180 first gear. They're like BTE gears in there. So it's good. This is a 1500 horsepower plus transmission. It's got some simple things that you'll see on most common Power Glides, like a 400 input shaft. And this one has a long tail shaft on it. This is not set up for a drag, so it's set up for a door car. And then it's got a nice little ATI Performance puke tank on it. So, Power Glide 400, what do you go with? Which one's better? Which one works for your application? It's all really up to what setup you're going with, what kind of power adder, what kind of power, uh, what kind of gear ratio, everything like that goes into effect with what transmission you're gonna wanna run. The 400 has its home in some places, Power Glide has its home in other places. The reason why I'm going from a 400 to a Power Glide is I'd say a pretty common reason. You start making more power and you start struggling with the launch. First gear is a touchy subject. You're trying to manage the power very precisely and you go to different tracks and you have to do a lot of adjusting because first gear is so short. Now the reason why the Power Glide, I think for my application is gonna be an advantage is because of the first gear ratio. A TH400 has a 248 first gear where a Power Glide has a 148 first gear. I will show a couple clips of driving cars that have one or the other. So you'll notice in a car like the Cow that has a TH400, your one two shift happens really quick, right about the 60 foot, opposed to a car that has a power glide, you're able to shift a lot further on out there. on the launch is you're not hitting the tire nearly as hard. It's a lot more forgiving off the hit. What it also means is especially on a turbo car, you can load it up more, you can run more boost, you can load everything up so you can put more power to it out of the hole and it's not gonna knock the tires off. In the cow, what we've been doing is we've been pulling all the power back. We're adding very little boost on top of the gate just to be able to get it to hook up. And still, we're struggling with it. Other than that, I'd say a, a big feature of the Power Glide that I like is to hell a lot lighter. All right, another big factor which goes into the transmission is you look at the cost. This Power Glide here, I'd say, is slightly built more than the 400 that I have in the cow right now. The cow's got a beefy transmission. It's a heavy car, weighs over 4,000 pounds, makes a lot of power, and at 60 foot's really good, so that transmission takes a beating and it holds up well. This right here is built a little bit stronger, but the biggest thing is cost. This transmission new is probably, I'd say 800 to $1,000 cheaper than a TH400 would be. So right there, you're looking at cost. You're looking at, if you got a car that's making a lot of power, you're gonna lean a little bit more towards the Power Glide. Power Glides are really popular uh, in all the higher horsepower cars. I have another Power Glide for my race car that's a little bit different. Instead of having a stock gear ratio, it's got a 158 first gear, so which is even longer gear because when you wanna put down more power, you're gonna fight wheelies. So having that 158 first gear is helpful in power management and being able to apply the power. It also has a lot larger input shaft. Cool thing about the power glides, you can pull the input shaft out. All the power glides that we run, and pretty much that you see all the time, have a 400 input shaft, so same input as a TH400. So I'll be able to take my converter right out of my TH400 and stick it in my power glide and head to the track and do some testing. All right, so one of the biggest, I guess, misconceptions that you see on the internet with a power glide is that it is less streetable than a TH400. And I'm not really sure why a lot of people say that. Uh, one has two gears, one has three gears, but the number of gears does not affect how the car drives on the street. They both have pumps, you can both put trans coolers on them, you can both drive them on the street. The, the thing is, the final drive, so when you're in high gear in both this Power Glide and a 400, is it's one to one. So when you put them in high gear, they are identically, or they're identically, they're virtually the same. 
same RPM, it's gonna drive the same. Now converter differences, that is specific to Power Glide or 400, but like I said before, I'm taking the converter right out of my 400, put it in my Power Glide, and I'll do some testing. Hopefully it'll work well. But driving on the street, I expect to see zero difference in overall performance, especially in high gear, cruising around and everything like that. Now both these transmissions do not have a lockup torque converter, so don't expect to go out there and run 85 miles an hour and cruise for two hours because that's pretty unrealistic. They are an older style transmission, so no lockups. Now you can get a 400 with a lockup nowadays, but get ready to uh, come out of pocket probably twelve to $15,000. Being that I caught this transmission up for a fraction of that, I don't expect it to have a lockup. We're gonna stop the video here about the Power Glide for a second because UPS is delivering something very important for a Power Glide. How are you I got a bunch of axes. I figured we'd be breaking this more. I called him and said, hey, can you send me one? This little package here from Strange. What well, perfect timing to open up a box from Strange that was sent to me specific for a power glide. In here, what we have from Strange, my, one of my wonderful sponsors, big shout out to Strange Engineering, check them out. This is a this is a billet yoke from Strange that's specific to the Power Glide. Uh, there's two different tail shafts on a Power Glide. You're gonna have a roller or a brass bearing. This one behind me has a brass bearing. The one in the other cart is a roller bearing. So we run Strange Engineering yokes in all of our stuff. So big shout to Strange Engineering. Check them out. I'd say this is uh, to the only difference between a 400 and a Power Glide as far as drive shaft wise. Well, let's get back to the video. All right, so I've showed you guys a couple clips of driving the different cars. At the track, they drive a little bit different. I'd say the Power Glide is a little bit more manageable the faster you go. It gives you time, you don't have to bang. You have to go right for the trans brake and bang that one-two shift. You have some time to kind of get the car settled down and figure out where it's going. If you have to make any adjustments and then shift. Um, I don't run any of my cars on air shifters. I shift them all manually. Uh, I think this is the, the best shifter out there. I can make adjustments. If it's pulling a wheel and I need to shift early, I can do that. Uh, if it spins the tires, I can make it so it doesn't shift. Air shifter for me is kind of a, a breaking point in that sense. Uh, but being that I'm starting to go faster and faster and faster, power glides allow me to be able to still shift it manually if I was to be forced to go to an air shifter because on a 400, it's just tough to do. Uh, so overall, my consensus, my answer to this topic is there's no better transmission. Uh, it's all specific to an application. I've driven 400s a bunch. I like the way they drive. I like the way they perform. Uh, I've driven Power Glide cars a bunch. I like the way they drive. I like they perform. I'm not biased towards one or the other. And I don't think anyone really should be because in every application, each transmission has its home. Uh, you get some lower horsepower cars running on nitrous, some other stuff where you need to get that gear ratio to help them get out of the hole. 400 is the answer. You get cars with big power, some big turbos where you can really load them up, get them up there and boost off the two-step and really hit them hard out of the hole and be in power. I think the Power Glide's a little bit better at that. And then, you know, you have some room to grow with a Power Glide where you can put a bigger first gear in there, like a 158, which I'm doing in the race car, and that gives you more room and be able to load up even more and help you get down track. And then the 400, you can do the Turbo Glide where you put an even longer first gear in there, like a 148, and do a two-speed 400. So they have their perks, they have their downsides. This one only has two gears. It's not even a downside. The other one has three. Neither of them have lockups. Figure out what you're looking for before you can decide, hey, I'm going to put a 400 in there. Hey, I'm going to put a Power Glide in there because they are both great transmissions. Uh, I really encourage you guys to comment below any questions or concerns you have. I'm going to hang out in the comment section today for this video, and I'm going to try to answer as much as I can. And I, I prefer the discussion, so go down there and start a discussion. We'll start talking about it, and tell me what pa what transmission you guys like, what transmissions you guys use, what converters you like, because that's what this video is all about. It's all about transmission, converter, power glide, 400, everything like that. So I do want to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to go down and get some LS Nasty merch. we got some new stuff on the way coming off the press here shortly. But go down pick that stuff up. I know it's cold out, so get you some hoodies. We have a discount code right now. You can use send it for send it to That's going to give you 15% off the entire store. So go check that stuff out. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.